Greetings guys, it is Mr. Blockums here. Uh, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to how to craft a pretty full pickaxe in 3ds Max. Well, you can pretty much use this technique for any for any Minecraft item. Um, just on a side note, I'd like to thank everyone for, that's subscribed. Very thankful and grateful for all the the Okies that's you know shared my video. It's really gotten me a lot of subscribers. I'm really happy about it. But anyways, moving on. No time wasting. Let's go. Uh, this is the pickaxe. This is what we want to end up with, obviously. And it will look beautiful, and it'll be fast, and you know, modeled fast, and it won't be it won't take too long. So we're gonna start off with going to the front view. Let me just hide this thing. We're gonna go to the front view, and we're gonna go to the create panel. From the create panel, we go select the plane. And we're just going to make a standard plane in the front view. And you obviously press F to get to the front view. From there, you go to the modify panel. And we're just going to, if if this length segs and everything is on different numbers, just reset it to 1. If you right click, it will reset it. Um, cool. And then we're just going to keep this all consistent. And we're just going to make this, I think we can try 3. No, that's way too small. Let's try 10. Okay, 10 is good for now. Whatever number you want. If you want to go to scale, you can go to scale. I'm, I'm not a person that likes scale unless you want to really get good lighting. Cool, so the next thing we want to do is to go onto the interwebs where you people found me. Uh, on the interwebs, download uh, pretty much a JPEG like this. Nice front view JPEGs, they're all over the internet. Just search for Minecraft pickaxe or Minecraft apple or something, and you should find a nice little squared out front view of a pickaxe. Um, once you download that, you're going to go to the maps view by pressing M, and then your your material area should be all blanks. Mine's not blanks because I've been using this for other things as well. And then in a new standard material, we're going to go to the diffuse slot. If you push this button, it will bring up some some window, or whatever. Uh, if we go to bitmaps, now we're going to go find that that pickaxe. So mine's obviously in my local drive and work. Uh, micro reductions, maps, props, and pickaxe. Once you select that, it will apply it into your material editor. It's a few slot. And from there, if you drag it and drop it onto your plane, it will now be applied to your plane. Then if we look over here, we have this button. This is called show shaded material in viewport. If you hit that, it will show it. Beautiful. So from there, if we now this is all perfectly squared out, so it's all good. So what we want to do next <coughs> is go back to our create create button and just chuck this on the side. And we're gonna go to shapes and then splines and then oh crap splines. <laughs> and then we're gonna select the line tool. And now we're pretty much just gonna outline this. We're pretty much just going to trace this whole pickaxe out. So we're just going to start off over here. I'm not going to be accurate and go to, go to the edge. I would like to stay away from the edge because if I keep it on the edge, then it struggles to, when you map, a, map it to the pickaxe or the bottle later, it struggles to, to keep the textures going all around the pickaxe. So if I just keep it a little bit off, and if I hold down shift, it will keep the line straight. And then we're just gonna, you know, trace it out like we're in kindergarten or something. So yeah, this is obviously gonna take a little while, so I might speed forward. Speed boost. Pew. Oh, this is taking forever. I hate outlining. Cool, we're almost finished. Once we get to the end here, we're just gonna link it up to this one and we say close by a yibbo. Cool, so once you have the outline, oh my gosh, once you have all the outline all looking all nice and sexy, if you hit F3, you can see it's wireframe as well. Um, just keep it in the square. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a, 
a modify extrude modifier uh, so if we go into the modify panel which is this this little blue rainbow thing here and then we go down the drop down list and we can find extrude this is the extrude modifier and that will pretty much create like a little extrusion if we hit the mount 5 let's try 5 oh that's way too much try mount 1 that's a bit thick 0.7 just play around until you get a nice width so now there's your pickaxe really nice and modeled all finished didn't take long obviously the crappy part was outlining it but anyways um okay once that's done then we're gonna go back into front view by hold, by pushing f and then we're just gonna we're gonna now drag and drop the texture we're going to drag and drop this texture that we added just now onto the pickaxe and then okay so now obviously it's gone all white that's because it's not UV mapped properly so if we go back with the pickaxe selected we go back to the modify panel and go to hit on U and find the UVW map thing modifier we add that and now it's starting to work so if we go back to front view now what we need to do is we need to line up this yellow edge with the edge of the plane because that's obviously what we traced it out and it's not lined up so by doing that what we want to do is you can open up this hit the little plus sign open it up and then select gizmo now you'll notice that when you select gizmo it makes this little yellow line sorry orange line or was orange line to a yellow line and then from there if we hit go down to scale and now what we just need to do is to line it up with the outside side of this white box uh, so you just need to spend some time lining up all nicely what is this let's just go we can just extend this so you can see better got a small monitors my monitor is only like 23 23 inch no 22 I think something like that I don't know but I got three okay that's not accurate but it's it's good enough so once that's done your textures are applied and the pickaxe is pretty much finished now you can you can apply this technique to any 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 object you want to make in for Minecraft that's got a nice front flat view like this. You know, all you do is trace it out, add the extrude modifier, and then add the texture, and just do exactly what I just did. Done. Done and dusted and looking beautiful. You can give it a spin and spin and spin. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments section. You know, if you want to see more tutorials of certain things, let me know in the comments. Uh, please like this. Share it if you want to. I don't know if you found it that helpful. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.